It's hard for some writers to express a thought in 280 characters, but these days it's necessary. Twitter can be a great way to explain your platform and connect with your readers and promote your book. So today, let's find out the basics on how to conquer the Twitterverse. So let's look at a blueprint for creating the best Twitter profile ever. First off is the bio. Compile a concise and clear bio that identifies any groups or areas of expertise that you are involved in. So you definitely, obviously, writer and author are, are good words to use, but you can go a little bit deeper and describe yourself uh, a little bit better. So maybe you're a food blogger, or maybe you're a historian, maybe you have an interest in aviation. So any keywords like that are really going to help you connect with the right groups and be visible to the right people. Next up, following accounts. So once you kind of follow the obvious usual suspects like your mom and dad and the cat profile that they made and your cousins and your icons, look at who they're following and see if any of those are relevant to you. Um, so this can be a great way to find new groups or new audiences that are like-minded um, and a great way to connect with some people that you may not have thought of originally. Good people to search for would be writers, authors, bloggers, YouTubers, reviewers, anything kind of in your sphere of relevance that may be a good connection for you to make. Now that we found people to follow, let's get followed back. So a great way to gain followers is to uh, join in conversations with your, the followers you currently have, uh, answer questions or ask questions. You can post book reviews or um, give a recommendation. All of these are really great ways to kind of start conversations and be more visible to potential followers. If you see a comment that you like, retweet that comment with a comment of your own, and hopefully the original poster will see it and retweet it. And then that puts you in front of a whole new audience. Stay active on Twitter by tweeting once or twice a day. Um, and if you're thinking, what should I post? You want to stay away from like the boring, mundane content um, that no one would want to see anyway. So good things to post are articles, entertainment, informative articles, um, anything that you think will add value to your followers or, or the audience you're hoping to reach. Um, so commenting and sharing things like this are a great way to start the conversation. You only have 280 characters on Twitter, so get creative with it. Um, some authors will post things like one-line poems or little snippets of a story, maybe one line at a time. So play around with it and get creative and see what works best for you. Don't be afraid to cross-promote between your different social platforms. Uh, let's face it, 280 characters goes pretty quickly. So if you have a little bit more to say, don't be afraid to link to a blog post or you know, maybe you wrote an article for LinkedIn. That's a great place to link to as well. Hashtags. They are also important on Twitter. So use them to your advantage by getting yourself involved in conversations you want to be a part of or by helping your followers organize your tweets into themes. Last but not least, be patient. Twitter can be a lot of fun once you get the hang of it, but you have to take the time to grow your audience. And remember, it's not all about numbers. Having a smaller group of followers that are highly engaged that you can have a dialogue with is a lot more valuable at the end of the day than having 5,000 random accounts following you. So that's a good thing to keep in mind as you begin your Twitter journey. If there's anything that we missed or if you have any questions, then leave them in the comments below. Be sure to hit subscribe and we'll see you next year.